Liver King confession. Four days ago. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Jules. I'm a Valorant player. And after playing Valorant, I usually watch videos submitted by Twitch viewers on my stream almost every day. I stream all of this on Twitch, so come hang out. The link's going to be in the description box below. Be sure to subscribe and comment down below which videos I should react to. Lastly, you can check out all my other content by clicking the channels button on my YouTube page. We are going for world domination. Other than that, enjoy the video. If you guys don't know who this person is, you've probably seen them on TikTok. But if you don't, this person eats like only meats and liver and weird shits okay like eyeballs testicles i don't fucking know this guy raw he eats everything raw which is fine here's the kicker all right he sells a workout plan and he's like you can get as big as i can if you just hop on my diet and workout plan okay but the problem here is that he claims he's all natural when it's very obvious that he is not but he keeps saying that he is so i guess we'll see what his apology is about in this video to apologize why the fuck is this in mono what are we in the 1800s? What the fuck? I fucked up because I'm embarrassed and ashamed. You couldn't record on a better mic? And I misled a lot of people. Okay. I stated that this is a complicated as fuck topic, at least to me it is, because before social media, I was rich and anonymous. And after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous. And I never expected this kind of exposure in the public eye. It's been tricky as fuck to navigate. Well, clearly I did it wrong. And I'm here now to set the record straight. Yes, I've done steroids. And yes, I'm on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves. The 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves are people are hurting at record rates with depression. What in the fuck is that jump? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Needle King? <laughs> Dude, wait. So his his use of steroids is to bring awareness to the depression of people wanting to kill themselves. Wow, there is no way he is all there, right? Autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition in life. Our young men are hurting the most, feeling lost, weak, and submissive. So I made it my job to model, teach, and preach a simple, elegant solution called ancestral living, the nine ancestral tenants. So our people- Wait, he's reading a script. Wait, this guy's reading a script. You guys see this? This is my fight. This is why I exist. Well, you could have done that. You could have done that naturally or, or hear me out. Uh, you could just tell people that you're on steroids. The problem is when you, when you pull up this deception shit, right? Um, that's, that's when it's bad. That's when it's bad. Well, spreading the message, I've been on several podcasts and when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always said, no, I don't touch the stuff. Not going to touch the stuff. Never touch the stuff. That was a lie. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I've convinced myself that this had nothing to do with the ancestral message. I convinced myself that I'm not a competitive athlete of any kind. So who the fuck am I cheating? I convinced my Well, probably yeah, listen, you're probably cheating the people who are buying your workout plans, thinking they can get your size. You're 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 tricking the public claiming one thing and doing the opposite. Myself that this topic was a placeholder for a far more important conversation. I convinced myself that this would overshadow the 36 years of working out, usually twice a day, without PEDs. I don't think any natural body lift, I don't think any natural bodybuilder can work out two times every single day. You just don't recover that quick, right? Unless you're on like PEDs. <laughs> and it was all wrong. I will be better. I will talk about it openly because I believe that there's a time and a place for pharmacological intervention monitored and managed by a trained hormone physician. In 2021, when I was 43 years old, I didn't feel 100% physically or cognitively. So I went to get monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician to see what the fuck was going on with my life. And so yes, it's true. I have tried several peptide combinations in an effort to increase my growth hormone and it didn't work, meaning that my levels still remained below 
the normal le level. So yes, it's also true that I've tried pharmaceutical grade growth hormone and I finally found success in managing therapeutic levels in the normal range. Yes, this is true. Bro, just admit that you're, you're taking HGH, bro, and steroids, man. With 0.6 cc's of testosterone per week, roughly 120 milligrams of testosterone a week. And no, I don't take any other steroids like Nandrolone or Winstrol, but I have tried them in the past without success. Yes, it's also true that my blood chemistry got all fucked up while taking wow. Nandrolone and Winstrol. Who'd have guessed? My lipids got all deranged. My liver enzymes went sky high, which is why clinical oversight is an absolute must. Nope. The Liver King brand has had nothing or at least very little to do with my business success. My companies were already kicking ass, already successful before the Liver King public figure, growing at 50% year over year and still growing at this. What is he doing? What is he is he saying that like he didn't need to be the Liver King to be successful? Like I'm confused what his angle is here. Like, is he just like, is he like boasting? You know what I mean? Yeah, so he's trying to justify like what he was doing as Liver King wasn't a necessity. Well, that makes him look worse because he's like, oh, I just did this because I was bored. So he didn't even have to lie. I've never had ab implants, ab etching, or any other plastic surgery. And I sure as fuck never actually had gene editing done in Singapore. I made all of that up. It was all intended to be a joke. And that's an expression of ancestral tin and tin. Have a little goddamn fun. Ultimately, this guy's a psychopath. No, no, this guy is a complete why psychopath. I, why can I talk about the 85% of the population that suffers from self esteem issues? <laughs> Shut that's the fuck up. I'm part of that statistic. This is why I fucking work myself to death in the gym. This is why I do 12 to 15 blood burning workouts a week just to feel like I'm okay. Still, I have to absolutely crush myself to do so, and I'm wrecked physically and cognitively. But the thing is, dude, you could literally do this without steroids or trying to sell like a workout plan and claiming that you're natural. So like everything that he's defending, you could have done without the steroids. If there are any questions that remain unanswered, send them my way. I fully own that I fucked up. I am as sorry as a man can be. Mm. All I can do is take extreme ownership right now. Nah, I think you're sorry you got caught. I don't think you're really sorry. If you were sorry, you would have stopped. It's when you get caught is when they start to apologize. They just, they'll keep doing it and they will keep doing it. If they didn't get caught, he would have kept doing it. He would have kept doing this. Again, thank you to everyone for the support, the criticism, the love, the hate, and above all else, the loyalty. He's got fans. What's his comment say? Finding out that he wasn't natty and got in that shape just by eating raw food is as surprising as finding milk in a milk carton. <laughs> I'm glad he mentioned he was rich multiple times. I feel better about all this. That is the Liver King apology. Let that be known. The Your favorite influencers out there that look like they're on steroids, probably on steroids, you know? He doesn't look sorry. He, bro, he was smiling and saying he was rich. Yeah, I don't think he's very sorry. Do you have a Reddit? Oh, I do have a Reddit. I do have a Reddit. Guys, three Fridays, we do a Reddit recap, okay? The Reddit is Joel's TV, right? This is the one right here. Everyone go post. You can post Valorant-related stuff. You can post your clips. You can post funny shit. Anything outside of Valorant-related. Obviously, TOS, okay? Okay, everyone go subscribe and all that good stuff. That's what I'm building. We know we channel is definitely. You your peak and you'll never be relevant. Now we got beef